name's Adam. <laughs> that means man. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure for this tall glass of milk that you got up here. Because <laughs> a man, a man is like, uh, oh, right? I'm more like, hey! It's not the same. It's not the same. I don't like Instagram, because it's frustrating. The picture and the caption never go together. It's a picture of a puppy dog, like a cute little puppy dog. And that caption, you know that Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Are you gonna shoot that puppy dog? <laughs> then I saw a picture of a girl with a puppy dog. Caption, the only man I'll ever need. Are you gonna fuck that puppy? What? <laughs> don't. I had a good Instagram post recently, a good one. It was of my childhood celebrity crush. Oh man, my first celebrity crush. Remember, it was like puberty, and then I went, whatever. <laughs> it was weirdly specific, right? Most people are like, Zac Efron, Jennifer, Jolie, whatever. Mine was weirdly specific. It was the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese angel? Oh, oh, buddy, are you kidding? So good. <laughs> a caption that said, uh, filling me up. <laughs> my wife saw that and she was like, uh, did you fuck my bagel and cream cheese this morning? That's disgusting. It tastes like our honeymoon. That's disgusting. <laughs> and everything bagel means everything, Susan. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, 20 and 40 at the same time? It's just the dialogue that changes, right? Like you heard me, Adam was born in 1978. You're like, God damn, what does he do? Butt chug stem cells, it's beautiful. But if you heard I was born in 1998, 20 year old buddy walking around, you'd be like, what happened? Does he eat cigarettes? <laughs> No, he's freebasing Tylenol PM out of a pop can. <laughs> I think we quantify drugs a little bit too much. Uh, I heard on the radio a little while back that uh, crystal meth is the number one drug in killing you, and crack cocaine is like a close number two. Buddy. Can you imagine overdosing on the close number two? <laughs> oh, 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 you can't do anything right. It's a little mix. <laughs> How'd that guy OD down there? Crack? Oof, always the bridesmaid, I guess. <laughs> you can tell by looking at me, but I was bullied a lot in high school. <laughs> by a girl. <laughs> now we're married. <laughs> Take that Susan. <laughs> I remember when I knew she was the one. It was after high school one day, I was waiting across the street for the city bus. She got into the cart that her parents gave her because they loved her. <laughs> and I'm driving past. And uh, she unrolled the window so she could yell something. And I, you've never met my wife, but you should. She's like, eh, okay, not bad. <laughs> She's this little tiny Romanian immigrant. You just pick her up, you put her in your little pocket, right? Ooh, hello. She's right. <laughs> so the thing that she yells, you need to imagine coming out of the teeniest, most delicate voice you've ever heard. She's driving past and you just hear, Pussy! <laughs> and my phone rang, yee! Twice, she got me twice. <laughs> and that's when you marry that person, because you marry someone who knows who you truly are on the inside. <laughs> When I was in high school, my buddy got me a job. And it was six hours north of our house, way up there at the camp. And about half an hour out, he leans into me and he goes, uh, eh, not a big deal, super not important, but if it ever comes up, uh, you are very much a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, bit of a 
gap in the resume. What? <laughs> I got off the bus and they're like, how's the ride in? I was like, how's the ride in? Wasn't celebrated my birthday, that's for damn sure. <laughs> they're like, good? That's good, I guess. At the end of the camp, they're like, are you coming back to work here next year? Are you coming to work at this camp next year? I was like, am I coming back to work here next year? What, with this apocalypse looming? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're like, whatever this new kid is putting down, we are picking up, it's beautiful. <laughs> The apocalypse is this thing, right? You always hear about it, right? The apocalypse is like my wife. <laughs> you know, always about to come, but when? <laughs> I've done for 